Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we're doing something a little different. I am finally filming my favorites, and I decided to start off with my perfumes, my fragrances. I have talked about, I think maybe like two or three fragrances on my channel, but I have a nice little collection I wanted to share with you tell you the ones that are my most worn and my favorites, as well as share something else with you guys today. But before we get into that, I'd like to start by asking, if you're new here, please go ahead and join the family by clicking that subscribe button and turning on your notification bell so you know every time that I upload. I upload videos twice a week and they mainly consist of beauty hauls, tutorials, reviews, as well as a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if that's what you're into, you're gonna love this channel. I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. If you wanna see my fragrance collection, stay tuned and keep on watching. Now, one of the main reasons I wanted to share this video with you guys is because I just recently found out about a fragrance subscription service. Now, we all know that Scentbird is an option to use for fragrances, but a company called Lux SB reached out to me and asked me if I would be willing to try out some of their fragrances and that they would send me some samples to give me an idea of what they have available for their service. And if I like them, I could subscribe to their service. So these products were sent to me, but again, this is just for me to try out to see if I would like it and also to let you guys know about it. So if you were interested in trying, I do have a discount code that will be in the description box and you can get a discount if you decide to subscribe. Normally you get one of these fragrance samples a month. It is a nine millimeter sample size, and this is actually one of the biggest sizes out of any other subscription service. Another great thing about this company is they are also a women-owned company, so you know we're here for it. As I've said several times, love warm florals, so when they reached out to me, they asked me to give them examples of what I liked, and then they sent me three different fragrances. When you subscribe for the box, you're going to put in what type of scents that you like, and they make suggestions, but ultimately you get to pick unless you ask them to pick for you. The cool thing is that this is a month to month service. You can cancel at any time and they have over 700 designer brands as well as some niche brands. So if you're into more like smaller, you know, more specific niche brands, then they have those for you to choose from. I've only really shopped at Sephora and Ulta for my fragrances. So this is kind of new to me to be able to try some fragrances and some brands that I haven't heard of. These three boxes all have a different case. So I'm gonna go ahead and show these to you. So this is what the case looks like. There are different options. There's a silver, there's a gold, and there's a red. This, you only get one case and you get to swap out your fragrances whenever a new one comes in. In order to use the perfume, it is a twist. So you just twist the top and there is the perfume. And if you want to change it, you just pull it out like that. Super easy to use. And like I said, it is monthly. So every month you pick your fragrance, you get to choose what you want. It's shipped out to you. And every quarter you get a different reusable case. The fragrances that were sent to me, and I can tell you that by opening this up, are Montau Sweet Flowers. This is a little sweeter than I think any other fragrance that I have, but I really like this one. I'm reading the notes for this one. It says, looking at the price, this is $170 for a full size, which is 100 mils. And it says, this is sensual and addictive. It combines the first time smell of cotton candy, bergamot, white peach, and florals and vanilla. The top notes are bergamot, white peach, spicy ginger, spicy pepper, and cotton candy. The heart notes, patchouli, jasmine, tuberose, and violet. Base notes, vanilla, oak moss, gray, amber, white musk, sandalwood, and cedarwood. Now I'm gonna let y'all know right now, I'm not reading all the notes on these for the ones that I'm gonna show you because we'll be here all day. 
but probably eight out of 10, like each one of them has one of these in it. Bergamot, tuberose, sandalwood, cedarwood, some type of musk or amber. Every single perfume that I have has that in it. I actually looked these up and I was just like, okay, well now you know what you're attracted to. Patchouli is a little hit and miss for me sometimes, but these go together well and I really like this scent. So they picked this for me based on me telling them what I like and I like it. The next one is in this gold tube. This is Juliet Has a Gun Lady Vengeance. This one you can find at Sephora. It's $135 and I have never tried any of the Juliet Has a Gun fragrances. So again, I get to try something new. This one also says the notes are Bulgar Bulgarian Rose, Patchouli, Lavender, Vanilla. This one I definitely feel smells a little spicier than the other. It's not as sweet. But again, this is definitely a fragrance that I would wear. So I'm excited about that one as well. And I mean, again, guys, these are all really expensive fragrances that I don't know that I would necessarily want to pay for a full price because y'all will see I have enough. This is just like my makeup. I have enough, but it's always good to try something new. The next one that they sent is Mancera Wild Python. This one says that the top notes on it are Indian tuberose, osmanthus, peach, and bergamot. Middle notes are jasmine, orange blossom, and patchouli. And then the base notes are white musk and vanilla. So like I said, same type of scent. I love that these all smell different, but they still smell the same enough for me to be like, yes, I like these, if it makes sense. Yeah, I like all of these. I kind of, I, I think I kind of like the sweeter one the most, the Montal Sweet Flowers. I don't know, maybe because it's so different, but like I said, this subscription box, definitely worth it if you want to try some different brands of perfumes. And like I said, it's only $15 a month. And with the discount code, you get your first box for $9.75. So if you're interested, check the description box and go browse the site to see what they have. 700 plus brands and they have men's and women's. So now I'm going to share with you most of my perfume collection. Some other stuff I have is like really old. Like I have some Ed Hardy, I have Juicy Couture, I have um, Kat Von D, the Saint one. Um, just some other ones that are kind of like, eh, I used to wear those. Well, not the Kat Von D, but the other ones I wore more when I was younger. I have some smaller sample sizes, but these are like my babies, my main ones. You guys know already my Berry, Berry Blush all-time favorite. I already have another bottle of this and I barely put a dent in this one. This is my special occasion. Feels sexy. Oh, every time I smell it. It is like the perfect blend of a little sweet. Almost kind of smells clean. I don't know. It's something about it, but I just feel like, baby, you gonna see, smell, know me when I walk in wearing this. I don't know. It's just sexy sophisticated my favorite my second favorite would be nest sun-kissed hibiscus this is a fairly new one. Oh man i love this one this one is a little more flowery it doesn't smell like that clean kind of powdery like the my burberry blush does but it's still floral and this one i think is still like not just special occasion but if I want to wear something and be noticed and just like, oh, you smell good. What's that? It's this. The most recent bottle that I've picked up is this Tory Burch Nuit Azure perfume. This, when I first smelled it, I was like, hold on. Y'all are copying Dolce & Gabbana light blue for real. But when I actually sprayed it and I wore it, it changes. So it's not completely the same but it does have that citrus smell like the Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I do have that one as well. This bottle, y'all, is probably 15 years old. I'm not even gonna lie. And thank God, it still smells good. 
actually it still smells good but i feel like it's kind of starting to turn a little bit i don't know but this was like this is my baby like this was my signature scent probably 10 years ago like i wore this everywhere i bought knockoff body sprays to wear in the gym i just i love how this smells and so the tory birch which i bought on sale at ulta and now i don't see it anymore so i don't know if it's being like discontinued or they're just not selling it anymore i know you can get it at other stores but if you like the dolce and gabbana light blue this is good it's a little different at the end but the initial smell of it, very similar. Another one that I fell hard for, and y'all, I waited for a sale because she is a little pricey. This is the Ellis Brooklyn Myth Perfume. This one, oh. Yeah, this one's definitely in my top five. I fell in love with this, and I literally went to Sephora probably like four times and got samples of it before COVID because I was so in love with it, but I was just like, I'm not buying it, I'm not buying it. When the Sephora sale came, the VIB sale came and I got 20% off, then I bought it. So it was $80 instead of 100. But this is a little bottle I feel like for that cost. So needless to say, this is also more of a special occasion, but I absolutely love the smell of this. Also top five, Versace Bright Crystal. I have the regular perfume and then I also have the Absolute, which is like, and oil like the concentrate so it's super super strong you can see I have put a dent in this I used to wear this oh this smells so good all the time this one and the yellow one I also like I have a small bottle of the yellow one but this one is my favorite I only got one more to go in the top five so I got to use it sparingly another one that came as a surprise ventured into a Mac one day when they came out with um, the perfumes for like Viva Glam, whatever, like they had the ones that match some lipsticks, but then they came out with this Turquatic. This is probably way different than any of the other ones because this, this smells like kind of oceany, beach, clean. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's more, hold on, let me check the notes on this one. Okay, so this one says... It features, featuring anemone? I don't know what that is. Like sea anemone? Is that the same? I don't know, whatever. Lotus, Oris, and Corsican blue cedar. Cedar, see, there you go. Um, Yeah, so this is still available, is it? Yeah, $64 on Max website. So it's not that, that expensive, but it's still kind of pricey. But I love this. I absolutely love it. This one holds a special memory for me because this one is also pretty old. This is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. This one is a tiny bottle. This one's sweet. And I remember when it came out and I smelled it, I was like, oh my God, I love that. And then I saw the price and I was like, ain't no way, boo, not doing it. So I ended up buying the small bottle and this I think I bought when I started wanting to venture to something different from the Dolce & Gabbana light blue. This was my special occasion, small bottle, Ben and I use a lot. And I just, I think it, it smells a little more sophisticated and more like a nighttime versus the light blue kind of smells like a daytime, if that makes any sense. So I've had this one for, probably eight to 10 years, something like that. Still smells good, still rock it. I went on this little Michael Kors phase for a little while. If y'all don't know, Michael Kors is my favorite bag brand. Like my purses, let me see. One, two, I have three Michael Kors bags. Those are my favorites. If I get a choice to pick a bag, that's what I want. I have three Michael Kors perfumes. One is Sparkling Blush, which I think I just picked up on a whim because I'm like, Sparkling Blush, kind of sounds like Burberry Blush, should be good. And then Exotic Blossom, I like warm florals and fruity florals. So if it's a floral, Sky Blossom, Barbara's probably going to pick it up. Some of this stuff I just picked up like reading the notes and I was like, I think I'm going to like this. There's only one perfume that I bought 
that I ended up taking back immediately. It's the Mulger Alien. It's this really pretty purple bottle. And Sephora had this limited edition rainbow colored bottle. Y'all, when I smelled that, I was like, mm, kind of different, like Victor and Rolf flower bomb, flower bomb kind of smell. I'm not sure. When I put it on me, it literally smelled like skunk. It was the worst thing I had ever smelled and it went back immediately because it was expensive. So I was just like, I'm not keeping it. I'm not trying. I don't want to know. No, no, no. The Sky Blossom, this one is more of a clean scent, but it still has the floral undertone. Exotic Blossom, definitely more flowery. A little similar, but not 100% the same. You can definitely smell more of a clean with the Sky Blossom. And then the Sparkling Blush. This one is more flowery and has a little bit of a spice under it. I feel like this one would be more nighttime and the other two could be more daytime. This kind of has like a powdery scent. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Still very clean, but uh, I mean, also too, look at this bottle. Like this is so cute. This and a few of the other ones, my Burberry blush, and a couple other ones I haven't showed yet. These sit in my closet on display because they're so pretty. This is also another Michael Kors. This is Wanderlust. It's crazy because they all smell similar, but there's a slightly different hint of something that makes them different. I don't know. I think this one smells more bergamot than the other ones. I even like bergamot in my shower gel. So I like it in my candles. I have a candle, a bergamot candle from Bath and Body Works too. So I think that's what this one has in it. But again, I love the bottle. All of this stuff is just so luxe. I did pick up a Jo Malone perfume. This one is the Peony and Blush Suede. I like this one. But I just recently smelled the sage and sea salt, and I think I like that one a little bit more. I have a sample of it, and I'm using it sparingly. But this is still just like all my others. Like anything that usually says blush has the flower, has the kind of powdery, and it just, I don't know, suede. To me, I thought I would like it because it makes me think of like the musk kind of velvet undertone, if that makes sense. So this is another one that I got a bunch of samples of before I bit the bullet and bought it because it's expensive. This next one is Jimmy Choo Blossom. This does not smell like any of the other ones. Of course, it is still a floral scent, but I wonder, I don't think this one lasts as long as the others do. It still kind of has a sweet smell to it though, maybe vanilla. But either way, again, Blossom, it's a floral. This next one, I'm kind of going back and forth on it. I like it, but it is a, it's more of a straight floral. And that's not something I normally gravitate towards. This is the Dahlia Diving by Givenchy. Um, this was on sale at Sephora. And so I picked it up because it was on sale and I wanted to try it. I like it. I feel... It's kind of borderline older, not completely mama, but older, if that makes sense. So I don't know if it's sophisticated. It still smells good. I get compliments on it. It's just, it's a little more flowery, rose flower, which I'm not that big of like pure rose. Um, I think that's why I'm kind of like iffy about it, but it still smells good. Two more, Giorgio Armani, C Passione, Passion. This one I bought on a whim because actually, no, I bought this one because I bought a Sephora sampler kit. Those are normally $65 and you get like 12 samples and you get a coupon to redeem for a full size. This was in one of those kits and I didn't buy it. I didn't use my coupon for this. I ended up getting a clean reserve perfume, which is not on this table because it is not one of my favorites. I just, it was dumb. I picked that one because it was the most expensive out of all of them. Not thinking like, hey, why don't you get something you're actually gonna like? But then I smelled this one and I liked it. 
So I waited. I think I got this from like Macy's. It was on sale and I had some Macy's bucks or something. So this again smells pretty much like the other ones. But it's not as rose as the Dahlia Diving one. This last one, because I like Versace Bright Crystal so much, they came out with Versace Dylan Blue. And I was like, I just want to see if I'm going to like it. This does not smell like anything else I have. And I think that's probably why I don't wear it often, just because it's not what I normally gravitate towards. But I feel like it lasts a long time and it smells good. Don't get me wrong. It definitely smells good, but it's just, it's different. Let me see the notes. I'll tell you the notes on this one. This one on Sephora's website actually says it was an Allure Beauty Expert Best of Beauty winner in 2018. It does say it's a fruity floral. So that's one reason I thought I'd be attracted to it. It says that its keynotes are black currant, wild blooms, and musk. And then it says refreshing black currant sorbet with Granny Smith apple and contemporary floral bouquet. Woody base notes playfully mixed together for a captivating, sensuous, and vibrant movement. So fruity floral mixed with musk. I like it. All right, guys. So that is it. These are my most favorite, I would say, of the fragrances that I have in my collection. Ranking them top five, without a doubt. Number one, My Burberry Blush. Number two, Nest Sunkiss Hibiscus. Number three, Ellis Brooklyn Myth. Number four, oh, we getting down to the wire. Um, Versace Bright Crystal has to be in there. It has to. And then the last two, number five, and they're completely opposite. I don't know if it's Turquatic or the one. I wore Turquatic a lot more. Oh, it's so hard because they're so different. I'm cheating. <laughs> one of these two. I don't know. It's too hard. I don't want to pick. I love all of them, but those are my top ones. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know if you have any of these, if you've been looking at any of these. And if you think we kind of like the same things, let me know some other ones that you like so I can try them out. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.